गुड डे एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू एपिसोड ट्वेल्व पार्ट टू ऑफ लर्न इन वेस्टर्न My name is Saundarya Lakshmi Narayanan and this series is in association with Alice Blue to help new investors kick start their journey of investing. Subscribe and hit the like button and keep watching this video. In today's episode 12, we are going to look into the difference between small case and mutual funds. Number 1, low fees. Mutual funds charge up to 1.5 to 2% annual fees on the investment amount as expense ratio. On the other hand, small case charges you only when you transact. The average fee for small case investments would be 0.2%. For instance, let's assume you invested rupees 1 lakhs 20 years ago and the investment has grown at a rate of 15% CAGR. Here's what the final investment value after fees would look like in case of mutual funds and small cases. For mutual funds, the final investment value will be 10,92,653 with 2% expense ratio. For small case, the final investment value will be 15,7753 rupees with only 0.2% of expense ratio. Transparent mutual funds disclose the stocks in the portfolio once a month but with small cases you can view the stocks in your portfolio any time you want dividend income in small cases the dividends are directly deposited in your bank account varies in mutual funds the dividends are added or reinvested in your investments ownership you can add or remove stocks from your small case portfolio but in mutual funds the fund manager only can do it lock in period some mutual funds have a lock in period during this period you cannot exit your investments but in case of small case you can exit the investment any time you want in the next video we are going to see the best small cases you can invest in so do watch the next video